Chris, C-H-R-I-S, Hill, H-I-L-L. Okay, so according to the Coast Guard, um, the yes deer was at sea about 130 nautical miles off Tampa on Sunday morning when they needed help, and a cargo ship um, helped all four people on board. So tell me kind of where your involvement comes in. Um, that was Sunday. Explain what you saw and what happened. Last night, um, I, I'm in our house here, and uh, my sister and wife are out on the deck, and my sister spots it and hollers at me. Uh, I go out there um, and out on the deck, and of course I knew that, you know, we've got eight, ten-foot waves. Both shouldn't be out there. I immediately called Coast Guard. Um, then uh, I gave all the information to Coast Guard. Uh, I ran down, uh, and when, I, when the boat come up to the shore, you know, the waves are still crashing, but I could spot an EPIRB. I noticed all the lights were on, and the sails had been up, so I knew that someone had been underway. And so uh, I immediately went out there and got in the boat, and, you know, tried to uh, make sure nobody was in there. Uh, I only got about halfway into the boat because of all the debris. I came out, waited a few minutes, made my way back out, uh, then crawled all through the boat just to make sure no one was in there, uh, and then came back uh, to shore and then came back to the house and uh, uh, called Coast Guard again, sent them some more pictures, uh, and then the police showed up, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes later. So where exactly did you find the boat? What, what, what town? Panama City Beach. Okay, so it's Panama City Beach, officially. Yes, sir. Um, what is it that you made the connection that the boat had been involved in a mishap at sea? Uh, I have some friends. Um, I used to be a charter fisherman, so I have friends all over the place. Well, one of my buddies, I posted something online, and one of my buddies in Key West immediately posted the article that you did concerning uh, the rescue. So then, you know, of course, then we're all happy that, you know, everybody's safe. That was, our, that was the main thing. And then uh, we started looking up online. I found the Yacht Club that it came out of through the news article, and I sent them a message and requested them on Facebook. Then I posted something on their Facebook page, and immediately he called me and, you know, was, you know, of course, thanking me and then asked me if I could get his personal belongings off the boat. I went down this morning my wife and sister and me and retrieved everything off the boat and he's actually on his way up here right now to get his items wow so he must have been happy to hear from you uh yes sir i think i think everybody was just kind of awestruck you know it's you know it's such a weird thing you know especially when you see a boat like that and you know that somebody was in it offshore that's the scary thing and then just to know everybody was safe and then put the connection that i think he actually has family up here in tallahassee so it was kind of, everybody was commenting, you know, the boat made its way home and, you know, how seaworthy it was. And I'm going to tell you, it's, it's amazing. The boat's actually in pretty good shape. Wow. Uh, by your calculation, and, and, and you're probably more adept at the sea than I am, um, and, and maybe a, a map of the Gulf and all, but if, if that, if the yes year was 130 nautical miles from um, Tampa, how far do you think... Um, it would have been from from that location to where you are. How many miles? Oh goodness, I, I'm just guessing. I would probably say 250. Wow. You know, to to ride out that storm in those conditions is to me is just amazing. Wow. Uh, and finally, sir, um, what do you make of the whole situation? It just seems like, you know, it, it's kind of come full circle, as you say, that they, there's a connection to the Panhandle, to Tallahassee, and, and, and you're the one who comes across it. What do you make of it all? Well, I just make that, you know, everybody that's on the water is just like a big family, and, you know, I'm just glad I could help, and, and everybody's just glad they're safe. You know, when, when you see a boat like that with all the electronics on, EPIRB deployed, uh, you know, sails ripped, you know, the worst thing goes through, through your mind. And, you know, just to know that everybody's safe, that's all that matters. The man gets his belongings back and hey, material things can be replaced. And But it's just glad it turned out good. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I just, I'm just glad they're safe. That's all we can say. Thank you. And um, I'll, I'll get this on the air. It'll probably be a small clip uh, tonight and then I can send you the audio and video copy. Yes, sir. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Take care. Be uh, well. You too. All right. Bye. bye.